Realising our dream to move to France came earlier than anticipated. Come with us and enjoy the trials and tribulations that have occurred. Follow me, Joe Harris, my husband Steve and our gorgeous Fox Red Labrador Morse on our journey to integrate into French society. Bon courage! So, with the weather picking up, or so we thought, it was time to get Big Mac out of storage. The first lawn mow of our visit, or say our visit, we live here now for goodness sake. I'm hoping he's cleared up the dog mess, <laughs> so I perhaps I won't get too close. But look at this cutting beautifully. It's such a beautiful day again. And um, <laughs> and this is Big Mac, as we as you know, and he's only just this second <laughs> come out of the range, and he worked straight away. No problem. Sir, it's brilliant. So we'll have to get the strimmer out, I think, because there's an awful lot of stuff around the edges. Um, I potted this eucalyptus the other day. It's, I think I've got to get it some more um, m uh, compost. And uh, where Morse is standing, <laughs> I dug all, all that over, not that you can see. And I planted some wild flowers, just planted, put some little seeds in. Oh, sorry, the gate's open. Morse might get out. So, I'll go and shut the gate. Ooh, the ordinary lawnmower's there, it's a bit weird. <laughs> Feeling a bit miserable because Big Mac's out. Ooh, skinny. So it's all very overgrown. Again, it's <laughs> just everything grows so beautifully. I think luckily, we're very, very lucky with Morse it's that he doesn't realise he can jump. Um, because <laughs> he could easily jump the fence. And actually, this bit here, um, which is the bit that we all we had cleared, there is a little fence around the edge, but it's only sort of his chest height. So he could easily just push it over. But uh, he's very good and he doesn't. And he's not, he's not been too bad at barking this time. I think he's just been used to, used to being here now. He does absolutely hate the spaniel that lives around the corner. I mean, they absolutely go at each other through the fence. I mean, the people who own him are very nice, <laughs> but it's quite, he, he just goes into this mad aggressive dog, which he just isn't. But, um, the blossom's starting to come out. That tree, we're deciding its fate. I think we're going to cut it down. I mean, it's dead, completely dead. Um, but we're going to cut it to sort of table height and then put a tabletop on it. Um, so it'll be a, a little seating area, which would be nice. We were discussing the pool today as well, because as you may recall from a previous video, um, the chlorine that we put in it has just stripped all the colour off the inside. So, uh... <laughs> okay, I think he's asking me to pick up the dog mess. So perhaps I'll do that. Okay, <laughs> I'll look forward to that. Anyway, see you later. I carried on with my digging and repotted the eucalyptus with the help of Morse. I reseeded the patch with some wild flowers which would hopefully bloom in late June or July. It had been beautifully sunny and we had even had an evening where we had sat out until 10 o'clock but clouds were beginning to gather and what had been quite balmy weather turned cold again. Steve had cut the grass just in time. As you can see in the background, we had decided to move the pool and had some exciting plans for it in the near future. 
watch this space. Then the weather set in. Wow. Okay, so after all that lovely, lovely weather, it's now hailing. I can't believe it. I know I always do this. Ow! Gosh, they're enormous. Do this same shot. But, uh, gosh, it's absolutely pouring. Looks gorgeous. I love the rain and the hail. But it is very cold. And we've got snow forecast for this, this weekend, apparently. Ooh. Uh, it's the washing line going bonkers. So, as forecast, the snow did arrive. It wasn't particularly heavy, but just shows how the weather can change so quickly. Over the past few weeks, we had got used to not having a fire, but I can tell you it was lit that day and for a good few days afterwards. I do love the snow. It makes everywhere hushed and feel calm. I especially like watching through a window with a roaring fire behind me. Anyway, plans now continued to clear the upstairs, but it would take a lot of organising. Well, Steve has been up to something today and it looks by stuff in the garden that stuff has come out of the barn or grange as we keep forgetting to call it. What have you been up to, my darling? All this here is ready to make racking upstairs so we can get some storage going. Oh, yeah. But I have made a little bit of space up there, but it still needs an, a good clean and, right. and a good sort through. Okay. But in here, I've managed to move... Oh, what the beer in here? <laughs> um, what? Where was that? Where was this? Oh, you guys! <laughs> Come on, Marcy, this way. Sorry, that was from another video. <laughs> oh, look at that door. There's the door that's going to go in our, bedroom. in our bedroom. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's such a lovely colour. Hello, Marcy. Wow. Wow. Look at that. I wasn't even looking. I can't believe it. Right, so all this wood, this side, was all over in that corner. And Steve and... Ted helped a little bit yesterday, well, a lot yesterday, and they've moved it all, and it, that was empty earlier on, so now this looks like the beginnings of a Steve workshop. Yeah, so this is... I brought this all down from upstairs because where this was is where I'm going to build the racking for storage. Right. Because why, why are we doing that? Uh, so we make upstairs clear so we can start using it. <laughs> I can't wait for that. And if it stays as, as warm as it is now, it'll be absolutely fine because it's actually warmer up there than it is downstairs, isn't it? I've just been up there and it's very warm up there. Yeah. So... We're going to need some fans, I think. I think we're going to need some fans. Come on, Steve! Come on, Steve! <laughs> so, yeah. And I, there's the, I've just been uh, doing the vlog and I was talking about that door. But anyway... You'll probably never use those stairs ever again. I hope not. <laughs> they're not that bad. No, they're, well, no, they're really good. They've been amazing because at least I could get upstairs. But now, of course, we have a proper staircase that I can go up and down. That's marvellous. Isn't it, Morse? Isn't it, Morsey? Lord. <laughs> Things have been going on up here. Wow, look at that. I can't believe it. That looks amazing. <laughs> For the kids. Go on then, tell me all about it. Uh, well, all that, tomorrow morning, before lunch, Joe's going to put all that over there <laughs> on those shelves. Yes, of course I am. Um, this is all screwed and bolted and can't go anywhere. You park a JCB on that and it wouldn't move. <sighs> oh. So, as I has been told, uh, I mean asked, I moved all the boxes onto the shelving. Morse was a great help as always. It had been very satisfactory sleeping downstairs, but the thought of our new bedroom upstairs excited us both. We had been lucky in England and had always had quite large bedrooms, but this one was going to be huge by comparison. I had planned the room some time ago, and was really hoping that it would come out well. 
but there was an awful lot of moving and shifting that needed to be done before we could even contemplate anything. Oh my lord! So when I say a little bit, <laughs> a lot. That's rubbish there in that corner over there. That's amazing. <gasps> Cheers. Everyone. Cheers. Deserve a beer. Blimey, you've been up here for hours. So that, but... that is the entirety of this. Wow. Done better than I did it. <laughs> with things. Reduce stuff into four boxes into one box. Yeah. Very good, so all rubbish. But now we can show the fruit fruit. That's our gorgeous cupboard. I think you've seen it before somewhere, but we haven't used it yet. But I absolutely love that. So it's gonna be used at some stage. But this is great, you've done so well, I can't believe it. And we can actually get into the bathroom. <laughs> Stuff on the table. Hey, there's the table in here. It's too big for there. It is a bit big, isn't it? But yeah, yeah at least it, you can put stuff on it for the time being. And that might stand in the corner, and then that's down there, maybe. You don't know. Don't know. I just had to get it out of the way. Yeah. Come no, on. it looks all looks great. I do love this old cupboard. This was here, so the people who lived here before painted this cupboard. It's so pretty. And um, those doors. Only one of the doors is a door for that. The other door has nothing to do with this cupboard, although it's painted in exactly the same fashion, with the same oh, design. That's odd. The, the one door is shaped the same as that top, with pins top and bottom. The other one is about that top. Oh, well, perhaps they were making it. <laughs> they were putting it together. Well, that, I think this cupboard we're going to hang up all our coats in and everything because they just take up so much room downstairs. But, um, yay, brilliant. <laughs> and that's pretty much the sum total of my stuff. God, that's amazing. So what's on, oh, these are the seats, aren't they, for the, the van, yeah. for the van? Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is in sort of maybe preparation um, that my two sisters might be coming to stay and uh, if they do then I've got to sleep up here so <laughs> to make room for them downstairs um, well, but by, we'll see by the end of next week I, I can't get rid of any of that until I put a load of shelving downstairs yeah so no that's fine no they're not coming for at least three weeks this will be gone don't know where those might be no I mean we have got a huge barn but it's pretty much full of detritus the other side isn't it of stuff that we've thrown away we haven't because we needed to get a pass to take things to the dechettery so i've learned to say that now um yeah, which is the dump which is the dump yes yeah. but um we so but gosh we've been so busy we haven't got around to doing that but um oh my goodness it's freezing up here too and i've got to sleep up <clears throat> oh my god yeah but it's in a month's time isn't it Yes. Five weeks' time, it'll be lovely and warm by then. <laughs> Let's hope so. Right, here's Excellent. all your right stuff. Oh, brilliant. Much. Thank you. All laying flat, not all wonky and... Okay. There was broken glass in the bottom of the other Oh, one. no. Oh, no. Um, I'm not surprised. There are all the mirrors and mirror frames and everything. Curly girly. Mm -hmm. Rugs. Christmas. Christmas tree. Bower. Karaoke machine, speakers, mm -hmm. mirrors, spare boxes. Oh gosh, you've condensed kitchen. it amazingly. That box there and the everything on the top of it is all kitchen stuff. Brilliant. Uh, all everything to this end is, is me. So here are some photos to remind you how the first floor looked before we emptied it. And then once we had, it seems an age ago now. I remember hanging up all my washing. <laughs> it was so funny. The bathroom hadn't even been built. I must remind myself to appreciate it every day. I think we all forget to do that. So let's see what it looks like now, shall we? So this is the, <laughs> the little window again. So bright and cheerful out there again today. It's shining in. Um, so this I'm now filming today. 
So it's basically what everywhere looks like right now. So as you can see, that wardrobe that um, the previous people left, sorry, it's a little bit dark, but that's now in use. I've cleaned it all up. Unfortunately, some of the white paint came off, but um, I'm probably going to redo it anyway. So we've got quite a lot of things hanging in there. So a little rug on the floor. The stairs coming up, which haven't changed at all. <laughs> But we have now got this little place as our uh, music centre. Um, because I sing and play the piano. And uh, it just seemed the perfect place for it. So we've got a little seat there that people can sit on and watch very closely. <laughs> uh, but this is very, very temporary. And as you can see, nothing... We haven't paint pointed the walls or anything yet. It's We've been here six months and it's just gone like a shot. Can't believe it at all. But um, I just showed you in the previous video of what this room looked like. So as you can see, we have now got curtains over the storage. These curtains were in the kitchen actually, but they they work really well in here and they're they're really strong and nice so this is our boudoir <laughs> so it's all been cleared it's as again it's just nothing is finished the walls all need doing the floor needs doing the ceiling sorry the roof needs coming off as we said before um <clears throat> but yeah we are now sleeping up here <laughs> it's so lovely it really is waking up in here in the morning is just gorgeous and it's exactly what we were thinking of we drew it out and planned it oh gosh over two years ago and now unbelievably we've we've got what we asked for what we really wanted so you've seen the bathroom before so we've got a little table over there now and our gorgeous bed, the lovely chest of drawers over there, which we call a fruit fru, because it's made of fruit wood and it's a bit of frou frou. <laughs> um, little candles going. The windows all need properly um, doing. That especially that little one there next to the fan is just sort of propped up. <laughs> so I'm surprised it has survived because we've had some terrific storms, which I will put a a vlog on about because it was really I've never seen anything like it um, so this is the the dormer window which you can see a bit better now Steve's light has come in here now um, so over here what we're hoping to do is have a, a seating area so we're going to have a sofa just here that chair is either going to come this side or sit against the wall we're going to have a nice big coffee table with books piled on it and things like that. Um, so I have ordered a sofa bed for downstairs um, on the Never Never, unfortunately, because <laughs> we can't quite afford it. Uh, so the sofa that's in the salon at the moment is going to come up here because it's green and it will go with everything. Um, but yeah, I'm so thrilled. And this little window, again, Steve made... Um, the shelf for it and the surround. Um, once again, that's just propped in there. We need to decide what we're really going to do with it. Got little candles in the, in the alcoves, and they are the the battery powered ones because we really don't trust having naked flames all the time. But yeah, so the storage has worked really well because if you, it doesn't look as if there's any part of the room missing, which is amazing. Um, so I'm really, really thrilled with how it turned out. Um, and then that's a little storage space up there. So it's a little bit of a loft. So there's quite a lot of stuff piled in there. But I absolutely adore this bedroom. It's just so beautiful. And the rugs, the rugs go really well. So yeah, so that is what it looks like now. Um, the change 
is unbelievable. So another massive improvement to our darling home. Like the weather, things are ever changing as is the personality of the house. It seems to be taking on an air of majesty as more and more is renovated and it is becoming a real home. I think it appreciates the love and care we have put into it and the feeling is mutual. So next week my sister comes to stay and we take Lisa out for a trip around Le Souterrain. A bientôt!